and, and something that I have thought a lot about um, is this idea within, you know, like, like with the first vision of Joseph, you know, Joseph Smith's first vision, the story is he saw two beings and that they were in physical form, which implies that we are like them or they are very much like us, that God is not mm-hmm. this ethereal abstract almost thing um that we can't really conceptualize or or Mm -hmm. maybe shape-shifting thing but that god is literally us that we could become a god and that that is in our fate if we choose to follow the gospel and go through with the proper rituals and do everything you're supposed to do to get there Mm -hmm. um that to me it, it feels that that to me seems like an incredibly unique concept um, the idea that you yourself are in the, you could become a God. You could, mm-hmm. you know, I think people actually kind of tease that the, you know, that the members of the church were having this belief that you can become like God. But I actually think Absolutely. that's one of the more appealing elements of it because I think within, and I think I, maybe I, I wrote this to you, but something I've thought about is how within the American project, the American um, idea that we could, you know, continue. There seems to be something about the church that is so uniquely American. Um, and the idea of becoming infinitely perfected that you could, you know, you're, you're not just going to stop at being a servant of God. You are going to become a God. It's like you are self-made and you can become the very thing that you worship. Um, that seems to fit in, in some way with, with what makes America a rather unique whether for good or for not, a very, rather unique place. Um, I, I don't know if you had any thoughts on that, but I, I just thought that was an interesting thing that I w- had been thinking about for several years. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, that's an interesting thought. I, you know, I ha- haven't honestly previously thought about it exactly like that. You know, I think it's, um, you know, it, it does sort of sound hubristic, right? Or just, uh, you know, that's, that's basically other Christians in the United States regarded this as not only poppycock, but sort of just blasphemous that the Mormons would make themselves equal to God. Um, I mean, it was a time at which, you know, most Americans were rejecting sort of the most dour forms of Calvinism in which there was a real emphasis on just the sort of the depravity and almost lack of potential of human beings And you have new thinkers emerging like uh, Emerson, who, you know, it's a much more optimistic view of sort of human spiritual potential. But sort of Joseph Smith and his followers, they, you know, they take that to, to a whole different level. I mean, the idea of becoming like God or in, you know, sort of sharing in God's attributes, or being almost swallowed up into the presence of God, you know, those have much more ancient roots within Christianity. You know, you can find, you can find Christians, I don't know, maybe by the second century, certainly by the fourth century, um, who, you know, say things like. Um, in Christ, God became man so that man can become God. And Luther, um, Martin Luther, he has this interesting passage in which which he talks about, I don't know, I, I, I've sort of got it in my head in the German and it doesn't translate well, sort of <laughs> God, God becoming fermenched or fermentlicht or something like that god becoming man so that men can become godded would sort of be the best translation um, but luther and athanasius which was the early church father i was thinking of they don't really have this idea of humans becoming sort of divine entities in and of themselves and um, certainly they don't have the idea of Um, these exalted human beings peopling other worlds or or things like that. Um, So, you know, there is something, there is something different here. I do think, 
you know, Mormons in the 19th century had lots of different ideas about what this meant. Um, and I think contemporary Latter-day Saints, for the most part, you know, there's, you know, there's certainly that idea of theosis or becoming God is still an important LDS doctrine, but I think it's often not, it's certainly not preached or taught quite as robustly as it was in the mid 19th century. I think, I think a lot of contemporary Latter-day Saints think about it in terms of becoming like Christ, uh, or like God. Uh, they do, Think about the persistence, you know, persistence of families and sort of a continuation of the creative work of God, if you will. It's not quite as um, not quite as fleshy and sexy as it was in the mid 19th century. Maybe. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say it in that way. But yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> 